Hello everyone. In this video, um, I will be giving you a tutorial on how to make prop pictures. So now you're probably wondering why I should care about making a prop picture. Uh, after all, you can just simply click on view and edit. You can simply just take a screenshot of your um, of your view and edit window here. But uh, doing so isn't as visually appealing as if you were to create a prop picture. So let me just give you an example of what a prop picture looks like. So here I have pulled up is the same uh, same sound file as well as the text grid, but it looks a lot more visually appealing if you were to create a uh, prop picture than were uh, than if you were to actually just uh, take a screenshot with your view and edit window here. So the purpose of this tutorial is to provide you a step by step tutorial on how to create beautiful prop pictures like this one here. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how to use a script that I created that will automatically generate this kind of prop picture without having to go over all of those steps. That I, all right. So uh, I guess we can get started. So the first step that you'll want to do is you'll want to draw your waveform. To do that, you'll want to go on your prop pictures menu here. And you'll want to click select. And you want to hit select inner viewport. Now this option is very important because this option is going to enable you to set the dimensions for your waveform, your uh, to draw your waveform, your spectrogram, as well as your text grid. Okay. Now your uh, these these dimensions are all set in inches. Okay. So what you want to do is you will want to set your horizontal range to be from one to five. And you'll want to set your vertical range from one to two. All right. So this is the dimensions that you'll want to draw your uh, waveform in. Okay. The next step you'll want to do is you want to go back to your view and edit window, and you'll want to click on sound here. And you want to click draw visible sound. All right. So this is the default settings that is set for drawing your waveform. What you want to do is you want to uncheck all of these boxes uncheck all of these boxes and where it says write name at top here click no and then click enter now your waveform has been drawn within these uh, margins here and the next step you will want to do is you will want to draw a box around the margins of your waveform so to do that you will want to click on margins and click on draw inner box and now it has drawn a box here the next step you'll want to do is you'll want to draw your spectrogram. And to do this, you'll want to move your um, inner viewport to be an inch below where your waveform is selected at. So you want to click on select, select your inner viewport, and set the vertical range from 2 to 3. And click OK. And the next step that you'll want to do is you want to go on spectrogram. Within your view and edit window, you'll want to click on spectrogram and click on where it says paint visible spectrogram and as you did before uh, uncheck all of these boxes all right and click OK and now it has drawn your spectrogram here and uh, as you did with your waveform you will want to draw your inner box so click on margins and draw inner box now the next step that you'll want to do is you'll want to draw you will probably want to add your spectrogram's frequency range. And to do this, go to margins, all right, and click on marks left every option, all right. Click this tab and leave the units as it is. And for the distance, set it to the maximum frequency range that you have set for your spectrogram, all right. So going back to my spectrogram here, if I go to spectrogram and go to spectrogram settings, my view range is set to 8,000 hertz, all right? So set your distance to be at 8,000 hertz. And click OK. And uh, um, now you have drawn your frequency range. And you will then want to add a label giving a title to the frequency axis. And to do that, go to margins, click on text left. Uh, let me just set it to standards. All right, and leave this box checked as it is. All right, and under the text, type in frequency 
in Hertz. And then click OK. And uh, now you have drawn your frequency label for the, uh, fre uh, for the frequency axis here. The next step is a bit trickier as it will require you to draw your text grid. All right, so now here in my view and edit window, as you can see, I have a single tier for my text grid. And just keep in mind that the vertical size of your text of your of the tier in your text grid will always be a quarter of the size of the vertical range in your inner viewport. All right. So here it's select the size of the inner viewport that I have selected here for the margins of your spectrogram is one inch. Okay. So what you want to do is in order to specify a single tier to be immediately below your spectrogram, what you want to do is you want to uh, specify your inner viewport to be a quarter the size greater than the margins of the wave of your spectrogram here. So that will be three, hold on, uh, 3.25, click OK. Now here in this little gap here that you have here in your uh, inner viewport is where you're going to have your uh, tier going to uh, drawn. So to do that, you want to go back to your view and edit window, click on text grid, click draw visible text grid. Now, what you want to do is you want to uncheck all, leave all these boxes unchecked, all right? And you want to click no, the option here to be no, but leave the garnish box checked, okay? Leave this box checked and click okay. And now you have drawn your text grid within your, um, within the margins of your spectrogram. Now suppose you want to draw your text grid within the margins of your uh, within the margins of your waveform and your spectrogram, okay? Now to do that, what you want to do is you want to go back and uh, suppose I have my waveform and spectrogram selected. To draw your uh, text grid below the margins of both your waveform and your spectrogram, you will want to set your inner viewport for vertical range from one to three and a half. Uh, so remember, the margins of your wave, both your waveform and your spectrogram, is exactly two inches. So a single tier is going to be exactly a quarter of two inches, which is going to be. Uh, 0.5, all right? So it's going to be 0.5 or a half an inch, uh, all right? So then, uh, so what you want to do is you want to click on text grid, draw visible text grid, and click OK. And now you have drawn the uh, tier together with your waveform and your spectrum. I actually prefer having, uh, I actually prefer drawing my uh, text grid within the margins of my spectrum alone. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do three, two, set my vertical range from 2 to 3.25, all right? And then you want to click draw text, visible texture, and click OK. Now, suppose you want to draw two tiers in your text grid, all right? To do that, I have an example here where I have two, te uh, two tiers in my text grid, one for word level and one for these, uh, for segmented parts. Now, to draw this, all right, you'll want to click on select, select inner viewport, set it from two to three and a half. Remember, each tier is going to be a quarter of the size of the margin of your spectrogram or your waveform or both. And um, that is going to be correspond to exactly two tiers that you have here. So for two tiers, it's going to be 0.25 plus 0.25 or two quarters pretty much. So what you want to do is you want to go to your text grid, draw your visible text grid and click OK. And now you have drawn your waveform, your spectrogram and your text grid here. All Now you have your prop pictures all drawn here. So now you would want to save your waveform, spectrogram and text grid drawing here. So uh, what you want to do is you want to click on view inner, uh, select inner viewport. So you're, um, and you want to select the entire um, prop pictures here. To do that, you want to click set the vertical range from one to three and a half. And then you would want to click on files and you want to save it as a PNG. You can either save it as, uh, as 600 DPI or 300 DPI. I'm going to save it as 300 DPI. I'm going to click this, save it as 300 DPI PNG file. And in the file that where you're going to save it at, 
you're going to name your uh, you're going to name your prop picture sample one, and you'll want to specify the type of file it's going to be, which is in PNG. So you have to specify it as .png. This is very important because uh, by default, prot doesn't uh, prot doesn't actually save uh, save it as a PNG file. So you have to specify it under the file names here yourself. Okay. So next, you click save. And uh, now what you have is, uh, is under this folder here, what you have is your spectrogram and waveform and your, uh, your new prot picture pretty much here, all drawn, here, drawn out. So that's a step-by-step -step tutorial. So suppose you don't have the time to actually go over all of those steps to draw both your waveform spectrogram and your text grid, all right? Well, there is a way to do this, and there's a way to automatically draw your text grid, and there's a script that I created, and in order to have access to that script, you can just click on the link that I uh, posted in the description below, all right? And uh, once you have that script installed, you'll want to open that script. You'll want to open that script. And um, here, um, you'll have the script... Um, here you'll have the script opened, all right? And basically, you will want to run the script, all right? And you want to specify the directory in which your WAV file as well as your text grid is saved in, okay? You can uh, you can specify this within the script itself. Doing And once you have specified it within the script itself, you can save, which will make it a lot more easier to do. But um, I'll just show you how to do it uh, through this menu here, uh, through the user input menu here. So to do this, you will want to specify your home directory or the directory in which your WAV file as well as your text grid is saved in, all right? So both of my WAV files and say, uh, WAV file and text grid is saved in this file directory here. So what you will want to do is you will want to copy this. Going back to the script, hold on. You will want to paste it here. And you will want to add a backslash at the end of the uh, file directory, file path here. Um, if you're a Mac user, you'll want to use forward slash, but since I'm a Windows user, I'm going to use uh, backslash here. Then you'll want to specify the name of your WAV file. Here is sample one. And you'll want to specify the name of your text grid, which is also called sample one. All right. And everything from here to here are the dimensions that is set for your uh, interview port. All right. So for here, the interview port is set from, for this is the horizontal width of your interview port. And this is um, the default coordinates for your waveform. So this is from one to two, and this is the coordinates for your spectrogram. And this is the coordinates for your text grid, all right? Now, um, by default, it's already set to just a single tier, but since my text grid has two tiers, I'm going to specify to 3.5. And below, these two are your spectrogram settings. So here you can set the frequency range to be up to 7,000 hertz. And for your dynamic range, which is for your spectrogram, I'm going to set it to about 50, okay? And then you want to click OK. You want to click Continue. And now it has automatically drawn your text grid, or sorry, your, your prop pictures for you here. All right. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, and keep in mind that uh, this script is always customizable uh, customizable if so so um if you want you can customize the script to uh match your needs so if you want to customize the script so that it could actually include a uh, a pitch track in it or if you want to include um uh the amplitude the uh values of your amplitude you can also customize it to uh to do just that okay so yeah, um, that's the uh, that's that's it for the tutorial. And if you have any questions, um, please feel free to add. Uh, please feel free to ask in the comments. And um, again, if you want to have access to the script, please click on the link that I posted in the description below. All right. And uh, yeah, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. And um, um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.